Is a $400 wireless microphone setup worth it for your YouTube videos? Hello, I'm Kevin Knaus and I am a YouTube creator and I primarily do YouTube videos about my business, health insurance, which is really boring. I do some history videos and some other miscellaneous stuff, but I recognized early on that to create kind of a decent YouTube video, you needed a wireless microphone. I like to create many of my videos outside, either out at the lake or when I'm hiking uh, or in the backyard here, and because I just don't like being in the office. So I originally purchased this uh, full AIM MX-20 from Amazon to work with my cell phone you know and it, it did pretty good it did pretty good it comes in a very nice carrying case with lots of padding and everything worked very well until the batteries started to degrade or something and sometimes i would be creating a video and just so it would just drop out and so i'd have to go back and kind of patch things up and it was nice, but after four years, it was time to upgrade. So I started doing some research and came across this Rode Pro wireless system and um, looked at it, seemed pretty good. Now, the downside to the wireless, this, this wireless Pro from Rode is the price point because my original full aim was like a hundred bucks for everything and this Pro was $400, so that's quite a steep change. But, you know, I figured, you know, it was time to, to upgrade. I did like that the product was designed and manufactured in Australia. And, and you can tell that there was some design thought put into like this um, transmitter, the receiver that goes on top of the camera. And so there was a lot of thought put into the overall product from the transmitters, the receivers, and everything. So everything is contained in these two little clamshell cases. And th those are nice. You can really throw those in a traveling uh, suitcase, take them on the airplane, and there's some padding in there, so everything is going to be protected. The little clamshell case that holds the transmitter and two receivers, that actually has a rechargeable battery in it as well. And so when you slot those into that clamshell case, they'll start to recharge uh, from the battery in it. Or you can plug it in to, you know, a USB-A outlet. And that's pretty nice because maybe that's what happened to me. I didn't really know if the receiver had a good charge on it or I forgot to on the full aim one and that's what was causing my problems. So that is a very nice feature of the Rode Pro uh, concept. And then the other clamshell holds all your little, you know, fluffy things, the lapel, um, <laughs> the lapel thing that you put on there that connects to the <laughs> the transmitter down below and the transmitters are light uh, so if you connect them on to like a shirt they'll kind of pull it forward they, they really work best with a, a jacket or a coat uh, that's real stiff but they're still fairly nice. And the lapel thing, I, I've had a little issues with it, but that's probably just me fumbling around. So for the most part, very, very good. So overall, I, I like that. And then I just kind of plugged it in and I started with it. And I did notice that the volume or the loudness um, was higher and the sound quality was better with this Rode Pro series than my old full aim. And I also noticed that it didn't pick up as much background noise. Now I'm starting to go deaf and so I'm not, I don't hear everything real well. And sometimes I would put together a video and there was, <laughs> I would hear a plane or a helicopter going over that I didn't hear before. 
So, but with the Rode Pro, it doesn't seem to pick up on as much background noise, maybe trucks or cars going by. So that, that that's nice. I like that. And I am just a simple YouTube creator. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not doing movies or, 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 or anything. And this is where some of the technology gets kind of complicated. Like my camera, this uh, Sony ZV-1, it, it, it has too many bells and whistles. It, 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 it's, you, you, you kind of try and set something and you screw up the whole camera and it's how do I get back to just the original, <laughs> the original settings. And when I was learning about the road, I, I plugged it into my, my Dell computer and um, I was trying to listen to some audio output because what you can do with these uh, transmitters is you can actually record and it will save the audio file. So there's a little chip in there, a little some RAM in there, and you can actually record, not send it to the transmitter. It's just like a, like a recorder. And I was trying to do that, but nothing was coming out of my computer. It's like, what, what's going on? And so that took me an hour to figure out that however I connected the, the road and the, the, the software, it defaulted to the road being the output, like I had headphones on it or something. And that also changed in the Adobe um, video editing system. There was no sound. It's like, oh, okay, I got to go and select the, the Dell computer again. And so that was a little... And then, I, this is the second time I've done this video. Because the first time I had, you know, I was I connected the the road to the Dell, and I was kind of goofing around with the the road software, and I must have changed something on the the transmitter or the receiver, and and, 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 and the audio was crap, just crap. So hopefully this audio will be better. But you can see with the Road Connect, you can up grow up. Um, update the the firmware. You can see different uh, audio wave files that you can download, and that's kind of nice because there are times when I screw something up and I need to record over it, or I need to drop some audio in. And this little wave file here, you can see there's a little blip. Uh, on one of the recordings, and that's when I recorded it without the little windshield. When I put the windshield in, it muffled that pop noise, so that was nice. And now you can kind of listen to the sound quality here of me reading. The young men of 1849, eager to get to California and begin their success stories, could never have contemplated being handed a baby to care for. It was never in Ruth Ann's California vision that she would be handed a Chinese baby boy and asked to mother it. It was not part of the California narrative that orphan babies represented an opportunity. And I think it's very good. Uh, I think the, the audio file um, and the audio quality is very good to drop something in. It you know, sounds just excellent. So that's nice, but there's a lot of technical stuff that if you know, you're doing movies or you're splitting channels and you're podcasting and stuff like that, you can get lost real easily within this stuff um, and trying to change some of the settings on the transmitter and the receiver and just kind of screw things up. But overall, this Rode Wireless, $400, it is more compact and I like that. It looks better, it's easier. The sound quality is better and higher, less background noise. Um, the field recharging is nice. You can just pop it in there uh, in a little case and it's going to be recharging itself. And of course, you can export the audio and you know, there's a lot of other things you can do. It, it, it is far more feature rich than what I'm going to be using for my YouTube videos. Things that I'm not crazy about is I like to be an organized person, and so those two clamshells, sometimes, you, especially the one, you just have to stuff everything in, and I don't like that. I am the type of person that when I take something out, it's got to be in a particular area, and that's what I liked about the full aim is that everything had a slot, so I didn't lose stuff. Um, and, and that can be difficult uh, with the, the road system because it's easy to lose things. Um, the exporting the files may be challenging 
um, you know, if you're getting into that. But if you really want to do that, if that's what you're interested in doing is having that capability, you're, you're going to figure it out. Uh, for simple YouTube creators, that's where it may be <laughs> like me. All of a sudden, you've changed some of the settings on uh, the receiver and you've goofed everything up. Cost may be a, better, a barrier to entry, uh, $400 versus $100. Um, but I really think that it's going to last. It looks like it is well made and um, you know fairly durable. So I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm gonna get my money's worth out of the investment. So if you're looking for a higher quality wireless transmitter that has some various capabilities, the Rode Wireless is uh, Pro it is, a, is a good you know, a good bet uh, that I don't think you can go wrong on as long as you just kind of connect it to your camera and, and you don't get too deep into the weeds with all the different settings on some of the software applications. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, you may leave those down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kevin Knauss.